So you have probably heard about animals that play dead, possums, fainting goats, maybe even some amphibians and reptiles. But have you ever heard of a butterfly that plays dead? Well, that's up next here on The Butterfly Farmer. So today, we are taking a closer look at one of the world's most unique butterflies. And it's this guy right here, a morning cloak. Now, these guys are not special because of their looks, but it's actually because one of their defense mechanisms they use to escape predators. Now, most butterflies will use different tactics, uh, things like fast flight, uh, quick turns, some will use camouflage, and others will actually mimic uh, other species that are poisonous. But this guy adds something to that list that is pretty unusual for a butterfly. He plays dead. So my mission here is I want to grab some of these butterflies playing dead on camera for you. Let's see what we can do. Now, I have struggled for a long time to know how exactly do you scare a butterfly? And the honest truth is being picked up by a person and just tapped is probably about the scariest thing you can do. There you go. That is a healthy adult butterfly playing dead. I, oh, there he comes. All right, tap, tap, tap. No, no. Well, we're getting there. We're getting the concept down. It's working. All right. All right, one. All right, two. I love how they, when they, when you tap them, they tuck their feet in to protect their feet as well as their entire body. No, he's not sure about it. Okay, I'll be honest with you, this is easier than I thought it was gonna be. This is, this is pretty cool. Okay, I, all right, leave down in the comments if I am a little bit um, nuts that I am this excited, but that is absolutely amazing that we have perfectly healthy adult butterflies sitting on a table playing dead. That is just, I think that's just remarkable. I've got a couple more. So, I think that is pretty incredible. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adult butterflies chilling out on the table, playing dead. What I'm curious about is how long will it take them before they start waking back up? All right, so these guys have been really grumpy about waking up at the wrong moments when the camera's not on them or when we, oh, there he goes. So there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for how long the different butterflies stay in the plain dead position. Um, it seems to be completely based on just how comfortable they are. Morning cloaks are not only special because of how they um, play dead. They're also remarkable because they overwinter as adult butterflies. Now, what that means is most butterflies will overwinter as pupa or eggs or even some as caterpillars, uh, as a larva, but very few overwinter as adults. And these guys will overwinter as adults, so they're actually one of the first butterflies you will see in the spring. Now, that may not sound that impressive until you realize that the morning cloak has a range well up into Canada, which means these butterflies can survive temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So they not only can survive sub-freezing temperatures, they can survive sub-zero temperatures. They're also cold-blooded, which means they don't produce any of their own body heat. Their body temperature will actually go down with the ambient temperature around them. So their actual core body temperature will sink to that minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely remarkable to see an adult butterfly, this, something this fragile, this elegant, be able to handle those temperatures, those conditions, and come out in the spring just fine. I think they are absolutely amazing creatures. And that wraps up this video, which has been the story of the morning cloak butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hey, do us a favor, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you. As always, I am John the Butterfly Farmer saying thanks for watching and so long. If you've enjoyed this episode of the Butterfly Farmer, make sure and subscribe to our channel so you can join us in the future as we explore the amazing world of nature all around us. Thanks for watching, so long.